In today's video, which memory card to choose for the Nikon Z6 SWE? Brand new camera and technically very similar to the Nikon Z8 and Nikon Z9. So let's find out. Thanks to all those similarities, there are also two memory card slots with the Nikon Z6 SWE, meaning one CF Express and one SD memory card slot. The biggest difference and nearly one of the only differences compared to the Nikon Z8 is the much lower resolution, which also means there's less data to save. So therefore it's not as intense in terms of memory cards as the bigger Nikon Z8 or Z9. For the test we do the usual stuff. So the camera is set up for continuous shooting in the highest speed and highest quality, meaning 20 frames per second in case of the Nikon Z6 SUI, because it's the highest frame rate where you still get war images, not just JPEG or even a crop into JPEG images. So 20 frames per second, which is still quite fast and a lot of data. And to be a little bit more demanding, I set the quality to wall plus JPEG. So we have the maximum amount possible in any way. Let's begin with one of the fastest cards currently available for the Z6 SUI. That's the Delkin G4. It's a bit an unfortunate name because it's not actually a fourth generation CF Express Type B memory card. It's a second generation, but still one of the fastest cards. So let's start the test. The camera is also set up with the electronic shutter. And as you can hear, I could do it almost all day long so the buffer never runs out already finished so if you're using one of the fastest and there are a couple of cf express type b memory cards you could technically shoot unlimited until the card is full so that's great no limitations in terms of you know continuous shooting in the highest quality you can get some, let's say, a little bit cheaper uh, CF Express Type B memory cards like this one from Angelbird. Yeah, now the camera is focusing. It's the AV Pro SE series, so one of the more budget cards. And today is the price performance recommendation in terms of CF Express Type B. So in the beginning it's the same we are in the image buffer everything is fine but now we can hear we are definitely slower compared to the card before so with not real high and cf express type b memory cards they are still good performance and as mentioned it's uh, it's raw plus jpeg if you're shooting raw only or jpeg only it's yeah, still unlimited. So only if you want to do war plus JPEG on a single card, there are limitations with a little bit slower CF Express Type B cards, but still a very, very good result. Of course, you could also choose an SD memory card like this one here from Patriot. There's, I don't know, really no reason for it because CF Express Type B memory cards are so cheap, especially the more price performance variants, and they are even faster. So it's one of the fastest SD memory cards for the Nikon Z6 III. And you can hear it's still a bit slower compared to, a, let's say, a mid range CF Express Type B memory card. And Often it's more expensive, so there's no real reason to go for a high-end SD just to memory card. Well, let's say if you already own a high-end SD just to memory card, you can go for it. It's an okay performance, but if you're going to buy a new memory card, it's definitely not a way I would go personally. But there is a small market, I would say, for the Nikon Z6 SUI and that's more, let's say, mid-range SD UHS-2 memory cards like the Sabrent Rocket V60 or the brand new Kingston Canvas Select v, uh, Kingston Canvas React Plus V60. What a short name. Uh, I would use the Kingston card for my demonstration. 
Of course, it's a mid-range SD UHS-2 memory card, so the performance is even a bit worse. But I would say it's still an okay performance. So from a price performance perspective, those cards are usually, let's say for 256 gigabytes, 50 to 75 bucks in that range. So absolutely great price performance ratio. And that's already much cheaper compared to even mid-range CF Express JP cards. So if you're more on a budget, not really doing a lot of continuous shooting like sports or wildlife, I would say that's a reasonable choice. You could still shoot 4K video, so it's a good everyday all wonder card. For anything more, let's say on the sporty wildlife side, I would definitely go for a CF Express JP memory card. It's cheaper, faster, so why not? If you're looking for the best price performance recommendation or all the memory cards we have tested and it's like, I don't know, 20 ish CF Express type B cards and way more SD memory cards, check out the link in the video description below or go to memorycardlab.com. There you can find all results, hourly updated price performance recommendations. And if you want to use the link in the info card, Unfortunately, we have to hit 1,000 subscribers, so do yourself a favor for the next time and thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye-bye.